Daddy's Home is an absolutely brilliant film. Now, I have to say, I actually prefer the sequel, which is unusual, but the first film is still really entertaining, and I think mainly that's because of Will Ferrell. I think he's brilliant, but Mark Wahlberg gives a brilliant performance as well. The narrative, while very funny, I think is also very poignant and something a lot of people can benefit from and can relate to. So this one was released in 2015, which seems absolutely ludicrous now, and was directed by Sean Anders, with a screenplay by Brian Burns, starring, as I said, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. And I'll read the description from IMDb, which I think sums it up nicely without giving any spoilers. And this says, Brad Whitaker is a radio host trying to get his stepchildren to love him and call him dad. But his plans turn upside down when their biological father, Dusty Maron, returns. So basically, we have a stepfather and a biological father, and they are basically fighting for these children's attention and their love and affection. And it's just about this ongoing feud between between the two of them, um, which I think is absolutely just brilliant. Will Farrell plays Brad, and I I think he's absolutely brilliant. Mark Wahlberg gives a great performance as Dusty. The character himself, I'm not a big fan of. You know, I was always rooting for Brad. I always wanted Will Farrell's character to kind of get the most love and the most attention. But the performances are, are both brilliant. And I think the narrative development is great. It gets to the point really quickly. And I think it, it shows a lot of issues that a lot of stepchildren can face. And also what it's like to be a step-parent, and that, you know, a lot of children hate their step-parents, but actually, as a step-parent, it's not that easy either. It's not a, all a bed of roses. But it does that, which is, you know, technically quite a quite a sensitive and difficult subject, but it does it very well against the backdrop of a blooming brilliant comedy. It is very funny. As I said, the sequel's funnier. I prefer the sequel. I prefer the setting for the sequel. I prefer the plot. But in terms of humour... It is very good. It hits the nail on the head. Comedic timing's obviously brilliant. We have some brilliant lighting in here. And I know that's a minor point, but I'm very particular with films and lighting. They have to be lit a certain way, otherwise I just squint. It's very peculiar. But while it's never going to be my favourite Will Ferrell film, let's face it, Elf, it is brilliant. It's a film I will happily watch again. The sequel, as I said, is better, but that doesn't detract from how good this film is. If you haven't seen it, give it a go. If you like comedy, and certainly if you like Will Ferrell, it's one that you're going to really enjoy.